Yo, what's up aliens? Aki here with another tutorial. Today we're going to be covering sub-base phase cancellation. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe so that way you get notified for future Ableton tutorials. So what is sub-base phase cancellation? It's essentially sub-base that cancels itself out. Simple as that. But how does it actually go about that process? I think we really have to understand how speakers work. I think this is really important as an electronic music producer. For example, like a drummer, they play the drums and it's the actual skin of the drums that vibrates and wiggles the air and that's what, that's what you hear. Or a, a vocalist, it's their vocal cords that are actually doing the wiggling and vibrate the air and that's how we hear it. Or a guitarist, you know, they're plucking the string and that's the, the strings are what's uh, wiggling the air. With electronic music, the speakers are our instrument those are the parts that are actually wiggling the air. It's an important idea to have as an electronic producer. So by understanding that the speaker is our actual instrument, we can then learn what are the physical limitations of the speaker. Essentially how a speaker cone works is that there's a magnet in there and the magnet is then attached to a membrane like a piece of paper, or plastic or graphene or, or whatever. And then that that membrane is then wiggling, being pushed back and forth by the magnet, and that's what wiggles the air. Let me show y'all an example. So here is a sine wave. I'll play it. That's what it looks like here. I'll play some other octaves. There's the bass. With this shape, what is actually happening is that when it's going down in its curve, the speaker cone is being asked to go backwards. And then when it's going up in the curve, the speaker is being asked to go forwards. And so you can see here it'd be this like back and forth push. The speakers, they have their physical limitations. And one of those limitations is that it can't be in two places at one time. So let's add in a, another sine wave. You can see it's gotten louder here in the oscilloscope. Now let's actually change the phase of this so that way this one is going down, this one will be going up. So watch this. Look at that. We're playing it. It's completely disappeared because the speaker cone is essentially you're asking it to do, be in two different places at the same time. You're asking it to go forward and backwards at the same time. And so it physically can't do that. So it's going to do the mathematical difference and it's going to go in between and thusly why we don't hear anything. It has phase canceled itself out. Now, why is this important in electronic music? I'll tell you why. Let's get a, an example going. Here's an 808. It's got its volume. And now here is a wubby bass sound that we made in Serum. It's also got sub here. Now I'm going to play them over together so that way there's both the sub from the 808 and the sub from the wub playing at the same time going to the speaker. And let's see, pay attention here to this sub range. Can you see how it's changing? Look at that. This is sort of the zenith point up here, but look how it goes down. It goes all the way down here. So why is it doing that? The phases are canceling each other out. So like maybe they're not all the way opposite. Like maybe you're not asking the speaker to be all the way back and all the way forward at the same time. So they go in the middle. Maybe this one, it, the 808 is asking it to go out here and the wub sub bass is asking it to go a little bit backwards. So that way this volume is going to be going from here down to here. And that's why we're seeing that difference in volume there. Now, how to fix this is pretty easy. Literally just cut it out with an EQ. I've cut out everything below 100 hertz. And let's look at that again. We can see here that it's a stable volume. It's not changing. And that's how you'd fix it.
this is why it's important to cut out the low end of a lot of your bass sounds. Like even like a hi-hat could have some bass sound in it if it's like recorded in like a natural room. And so you'd want to make sure you want to cut out those things. But I will say you don't want to always cut out the low end out of everything all the time because sometimes there's some unique character down in that range and that will be up to your aesthetic choice. But you want it to be on purpose and not on accident. Now, I will say there are some instances in which you can use phase cancellation as a sound design technique. So check this out. I've got another sine wave here in Serum, and we're going to turn on a saturator. So it's distorting it. This is what it sounds like. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play both. I'm going to play two notes at the same time here. I'm going to play E and F, and they're going to phase cancel each other out and create a new rhythm. Pretty crazy, right? Now here it is with an E and a G. Let's go down to an F sharp. Pretty trippy, right? And you can actually see here, here's a rendering of that phase cancellation. You can actually see where they've canceled each other out in a rhythmic thing. This is has to do with the fact that different length notes uh, have different length sine waves. Like what we saw earlier when we were looking through the oscilloscope. We saw the different lengths depending upon the octaves and whatnot. Another thing that I'd like to mention with phase is sometimes we can get this issue where something will not zero cross and it will create a click. So I'm going to demonstrate it here on this sine wave. I'm going to render this out. Check it out. Looks like a nice clean sine wave there. Now I'm going to add some side chain to it. And I want you all to check this out. Now we can see here that we can hear these little clicks in here and we can actually see where they're occurring right here. You see that little jump right there? That's where the click is. Actually you can hear one also when I'm starting the playhead and also when I'm stopping it. What's happening there is that the speaker cone is doing its wiggling back and forth and then it abruptly jumps from one position to the center position and that jump is going to create a sound. It's basically not reaching the zero crossing. So the zero crossing is the point that is the neutral position of the speaker. So that center point between the upwards and the downwards part of the sine wave. So to fix this you can actually just create a curve here and just round that off so that way it sounds nice and smooth. No click. All right, that is my short lesson on sub-bass phase cancellation. Before I go, I want to show you all a few of my Magic Ableton racks. They're all made out of stock Ableton plugins, so they're super simple to use, low CPU, and really useful. Check this out. Here's a, a breakbeat. Now I'm just going to apply the Magic Box and check this out. What's nice about this is that it's just I usually just mess around with this one knob and you can really dial in the amount of compression that's going on. You can really mess with how the style of compression. I usually like to keep it on a lower number there. I feel like it's it's very clean that way. This is probably my most used Ableton rack. So also here is the Magic Drum Shaper, which this is pretty cool. You can actually make breaks a, li a little bit more gated. So check this out. That's really with this crispy function. It's almost acting like a transient designer in a way. Pretty cool. So here is a Yo. Yo! And here's Ahi's Rap Vocalizer. Yo! Pretty cool. It's really good on rap vocals. Uh, here's also the Robot Maker. Yo! Pretty cool. Yo! Yo! All sorts of variations there by changing the robot type. Now, the last one I want to show y'all is, I'm just going to play this sub bass. So, got this sine wave in Serum. That's all it is. It's just a sine wave. And now I'm going to throw on Ahi's Bird Sign Distortion. Sick. Now, the Dirty Sign Rack. Awesome. And then here's this instant lead maker. So I'm going to play a little bit higher sign tone and turn this on. 
Instant Lead Maker does what it says. All right, hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, please be sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll provide a link below where you all can get the Magic Ableton racks. All right, peace, aliens. Those are aliens! Sorry, I'm trying to record it. Let's play.